Hi, it's Neil Frankel with WealthPilgrim.com. I'm a certified financial planner, and I'm also the owner and producer of WealthPilgrim.com. Today we're going to spend three minutes. By the time you're done, you're going to know how to land a fantastic job, even if you have no college degree. You can reach me, by the way, at WealthPilgrim.com or on Twitter or Facebook, as you can see. Now, it's cold in Los Angeles, but I can guarantee you that it's colder where you are if you don't have a job and you can't pay your bills. So let's get right to work. Eight of the ten fastest growing jobs in the United States don't require a college degree. Now, that's not to say that you don't need some training, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But don't be fooled and think, oh, you've got to get a degree in order to get a job. It's not true. The question is, how do you know which, which job to pursue? Which is the best one for you? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. Number one, you have to investigate. And you can get some great ideas if you go to my website, wealthpilgrim.com, and here's a couple of the, uh, the posts that would specifically help you to talk about great jobs you can get without a college degree or uh, weekend jobs. Basically, there's a lot of different information, a lot of different posts that you can uh, review to give you some ideas. But these are two of the best ones to get some ideas about what you might want to do. But there's another thing that you can do, and that is you want to investigate. You want to talk to, let's say you have a rough idea of what you want to do and what kind of job you want to have. Talk to people doing it and ask them questions. Don't ask for work. Ask about the job. What do they like? What don't they like? How do they get started? What do they need to get started? Talk to the trade schools, okay? You want to go to the schools that provide training, um, vocational schools, etc., and you want to talk to them. And you want to ask them for permission to talk to some of their alumni and find out what it is that they need, what, what it is that they needed to get a good job, and, um, and what was their experience. You want to talk to as many people as you can. Never ask for a job during this, because if, if you do, they will throw you out. What you want to do is ask for information. And the most important thing in your interview with these people, ask who else you should speak to. You want to talk to a lot of people. And again, what I would do, go to my site. There's a, if, you, if you search on interview, there's a whole procedure of how to get interviews and how to talk to people and ask the questions so that you'll get to know the job and you'll get to know those people. And more important, they'll get to know you. So even though you're not asking for work, at the end of the day, they may be impressed by you, and when there is an opportunity, they will call you. Now, there are over 11 million jobs that don't require a degree that pay over $50,000 a year. You can get, all you need is one of them, but you are going to have to get some training, okay? This is not going to fall in your lap. It's just not going to happen. You have to do a little bit of work, get out there, First, find out what you want to do. You want to interview people, uh, either that are doing the job or get schools to get you with people who are doing the job. And you want to ask these people, who else do they know? You want to get out there, get a lot of information, make some contacts. Don't be afraid, but you're going to have to get some training. Okay, you're going to have to get some training. It's not you're you're not going to go from a stir fry cooker up to a um, an owner of a of a restaurant chain. That could happen, but it's it's highly unlikely. You're better off getting some training, but it doesn't mean it has to be a four-year college degree. Now, how can you get more information? I'm glad you asked. Go over to wealthpilgrim.com, sign up for my free newsletter. You'll get lots of ideas on this, how to manage your money, how to budget, so that if you're in between jobs, it's not going to be a problem, and all that information is free. So, I hope you do contact me. I'd love to hear from you. I want to know about your successes, what your challenges are. Drop me an email. Maybe I can help. I look forward to hearing from you. Again, Neil Frankel, Wealth Pilgrim. Best of luck.